three years after Victoria Nazarova fled Russia and a murder charge, the once glamorous seductress is now but a shadow of her former self, having traded in her expensive furs for a prison jumpsuit. Victoria, you've been accused of being the worst kind of person. You've been accused of being a murderer. You've been accused of befriending someone, drugging them, and then stealing from them. Are people telling lies about you? Most of them, yes. Did you kill Allah? No. You did not? No. Did you drug her, give her medicine that made her pass out, go unconscious? No. The evidence is Allah is in your car. From your own cell phone, you're driving that car almost 600 miles why? Because you have a dead body next to you and you don't know what to do with it. Right? <laughs> no. I drove for 600 miles because I left from Krasnodar for Armavir. So are you saying all this time I had a corpse next to me? This is too stupid. Is it true that while living in New York you worked as a dominatrix? Um, I can't say I worked as a dominatrix, because I wasn't paid for it. But I did like to play this role with others, especially men. You had a boyfriend here in New York who had a dog named Joey. Oh, yes. And your boyfriend says you poisoned his dog, you killed his dog on the dog's birthday. My ex-boyfriend. He's lying the same way he lied all the time, in all his life. Your ex-boyfriend also says that you offered him a drink and that he then passed out for two days. And when he woke up, you'd stolen some of his items. You didn't drug your boyfriend? Никогда. Never. There are two other men in New York who say you drugged them as well and stole from them. I would be happy to comment on that. But I can't talk about it. There's a woman named Olga who looks a lot like you, who claims that you tried to kill her by giving her a piece of poisoned cheesecake so you could steal her identity. I know whom you mean. I know this young woman. I can tell you that. I did not force her to eat it. You're telling me all of these accusations against you of drugging people, of stealing from them, of murder, of being a con woman, of using your body to get whatever you want in this world, all of that is false. No, I am not saying that none of this is true. I admit doing a part of it, but I will only talk about it at the trial.